greetings to everybody today we are going to discuss the major service areas of social work this is a part of the course professional social work and its values which is offered in semester 1 bachelor of social work online program my name is dr meenu anand and i teach in the department of social work university of delhi the broad contents of this topic are going to cover the concept of services in social work types of services in social work contribution of social workers in in various settings the learning outcomes of this topic number 1 develop an understanding of the concept of services in social work develop knowledge about types of services in social work and to understand the role of social work in various settings let's begin by understanding service areas of social work now in our day to day professional life in social work we often use the term field practice areas settings for social work in our life now what do we mean by major service or field areas of social work what are the emerging areas of practice for social workers what is the role of social workers in these areas of service to answer these thought provoking questions we need to dwell deeper into the areas of social work practice now we know that social work is a well known academic discipline in india with more than 526 social work educational institutions offering social work courses in various central universities state level universities deemed universities and also colleges the scope of social work practice and service delivery is remarkably wide and it is increasing and expanding social work practice not only in the traditional social service agencies but also in school settings in the army business factories offices federal state local government agencies legislative bodies in private practice as individual family and marriage therapist in hospital settings in mental health facilities in courts and in correctional settings just to name a few in fact social workers are found anywhere and everywhere wherever there are people in need of a professional to alleviate their personal family or societal difficulties now when we talk about service in social work we are providing as social workers interventions at remedial levels preventive levels developmental levels supportive levels and promotive levels these services are offered to individuals in groups families and in the larger communities these services are provided keeping in mind the values of social work profession and we are assisting a diverse population of clients across ages across castes across religions ethnicity so on and so forth when we perform our duties that range from handling persons and difficult situations people under stress we are following our ethics we are following our volley values and uh, principles of our profession we in the help the individual cope with the situation at hand and we also advocate for them we act as brokers we act as mediators enablers counselors and we seek our valuable resources and other means of support in order to help the people enhance their social functioning now let's take a look at the major service areas where professional social workers are contributing the first area which i wish to highlight is the area of child and family services now child and family welfare is considered as a very very special area of practice for social workers now our principles our values of the profession they fit with the policies and they guide modern child welfare organizations we are able to provide assistance to the children and their families and also their guardians now we provide information about resources for children and families we coordinate services 
and use the resources to facilitate and work with local and state agencies and community based organizations. Now, when we uh, work with children and their families, we are doing casework, we are doing group work and we are working with parents, we are working with children and we are doing multifarious things for example, having a session on positive parenting skills, working with individual children to help the children cope with their maladaptive behavior, helping the children get adjusted in their environment. We work, when we work with child, we also work with environment of the child, whether it is family, whether it is community, whether it is at the school setting. We also provide support and therapy to children who have experienced difficult situations, traumas, losses or any kind of abuse. Now, when we work in child and family welfare settings, we are involved with the planning and delivery of a variety of services for children as well as their families. For example, we indulge in uh, eliciting family support, family counselling, residential care for children, advocacy, adoption, foster care services and also child protection. We also work in various institutional settings. Uh, where children are staying, where in institutional homes social workers are employed, we are working in child guidance clinics, maybe independent CGCs or those who are attached with a hospital or any other organization. We work with children in psychiatric settings. We also work in child lines, 1098 you must have heard the number. We also work with children in juvenile homes, correctional homes, we are a part of an integral part of various organizations, NGOs that are providing child and family services. We are a part of government run institutions and of course children and family based services are provided at also at the community level. So this is a very very important area for social work practice. The second area which I wish to highlight is the role of a social worker in a school setting. Now, school social work is uh, an area which is very, very popular and since the pandemic had struck, the role and the, the significance of a social worker in a school setting has become very, very paramount. Now, in a school setting, we specialize in helping students with school related issues, personal issues which are impacting their lives at home or in, at school. Professional social workers who are engaged in school social work, they mediate between community resources and students who need special services. We are providing lots of student support related services with the goal of enhancing the overall functioning and academic performance of students. We are working with school teachers, school administration and the aim is to help the children attain their overall potential and develop their personality. In the school setting, we are working at multi pronged levels. We are working at promotive level, we are working at preventive level and we are also looking at the treatment level. Now, when we talk about what is the role of a social worker when in, in the context of a promotive level or promotive level interventions, well at the uh, promotive level social workers in the school setting they are engaged in macro level activities with the objective of creating a pro social environment for the children. For example, conducting sensitization programs for teachers maybe on issues related to um, um, creativity among children, disciplining techniques or gender sensitization, child friendly atmosphere in the classroom, so on and so forth. We are also doing personality development programs with students on multifarious issues for example, gender, developing emotional quotient, increasing self confidence, empathy, stress management, leadership etc. At the promotive level, we are also working with parents, for example, sensitizing the parents about effective parenting, disciplining, parent-child communication, etc. So, social workers are the link between school and the child. 
and also they extend the services at the community level and this is a very very important aspect of um, a promotive level of um, uh, intervention by the school social workers. Now in the school setting we are also working at the preventive level. Now when we talk about the preventive level we are actually looking at preventing the challenges from arising, cha preventing the problems from arising. So at the school level when we talk about the preventive role, some of the examples of interventions for example having sessions on child abuse, bullying, drug abuse, handling issues related to teenage pregnancy which is on the rise, early detections of impairments and disabilities among children and addressing issues which are very very important, enhancing communication skills, decision making, talking about issues like gender, sexuality, HIV AIDS, puberty or social issues like declining sex ratio, gender discrimination, mental health, internet addiction, menstruation and stereotypes that are existing in the larger society. So preventive level work is also a very important component of the service delivery of a social worker by a social worker in the school setting. Now uh, one of the commonest areas when we work in a school setting is contributing towards the curative and the rehabilitative role of a school social worker. So the first thing for example if a child is uh, showing some kind of a maladjustment in the classroom. So the first thing that teachers usually do is try to handle themselves and if they can't handle they refer to the social worker who is in the school. So social workers are engaging in the um, in helping the child to adjust and also to understand the problems that the child is facing. So um, issues like for example absenteeism, hyperactivity, lack of attention, bullying, uh, aggression or shyness, stealing all these issues which might be connected with the psychosocial areas, emotional areas are handled by the school social worker. We work towards eliminating factors that are the cause of breakdown of social functioning of the child. We assess the child in various facets of his or her life and try to work with the child and his or her significant others. So for the school setting we are working at multiple levels at the curative and rehabilitative level, at the promotive level and at the prevent preventive level. Now after discussing the role of a social worker in a school setting let us move on to another area which is known as the gerontological social work. Now gerontological social work basically focuses on interventions by social workers while working with the elderly population. They are called as geront gerontological social workers or simply geriatric social workers. So geriatric social workers provide services for elderly people and support them in various aspects. So social workers who assist the aged persons, aged clients, they help them to live in a healthy manner and in a happy manner. The value of service enables the social workers to understand the felt needs of the elders and to show adequate empathy while providing the services. We provide services at their homes or in the old age institutional settings or even in some of the organizations that are working on community based projects with the elderly. The nature of problems faced by elderly related to their physical health, related to their mental health, related to psychosocial aspects whether in an urban area or in a rural area they are handled by the social workers. And this is again another very very important and emerging area for social work profession. Now uh, the next service area for social work practice is extremely important and which has again really come up in the last few years especially since the onset of the corona pandemic in 2020. Now when we talk about mental health, mental health means positivity, mental health uh, talks about well-being of individuals in society. Now WHO has said that one in four persons 
please remember one in four persons is having some kind of a mental health difficulty so all the more reason that social workers are working in the field of mental health and when we work in the field of mental health we work with the holistic perspective which means that we work not only from the point of view of the person having some kind of difficulty in the biological uh, uh, segment but also in the psychosocial aspects so we work with the bio psychosocial model where we say that our practice has to be holistic in nature and we aim to restore individuals families and community uh, from the point of view of their well being and to promote the development of every individual towards having power and control over their lives now again in the field of mental health i would like to discuss uh, the levels of interventions at the multi pronged levels at the treatment level the social workers work with the person in environment approach we work the individual work with the individuals to resolve their psychological problems the associated social and environmental issues and improve their quality of life we are indulging in individual and family counseling we recognize the client's illness on the family the impact on family friends work as well as education so using psychotherapies for example cognitive behavior therapy or a behavior modification relaxation strategies life skills training problem solving anger management social skills training we are adopting some of the specific therapies in our work we are doing case management we are indulging in addition to the individual therapy group therapy and we are also coordinating with the government based institutions if required for example hospitals primary health centers for providing medical checkups assessments and also treatment now uh, at the rehabilitative level the social workers in the mental health services aim to reduce the after effects of a disorder or dysfunction which means that trying to help the person getting come back to the environment where he or she was working for example whether it is school whether it is workplace or whether it is the college so retraining and rehabilitation of the person so that the person can get rehabilitated and ensure that the person is able to utilize his or her capacities to the fullest extent possible now this means that we are going to provide specialized residential vocational and leisure resources and also advocacy to ensure the development of needed services now it also means that working social workers are going to work with the community which basically says that we work towards environment manipulation that is we try to create a pro social environment to help the client come back to the rehab get rehabilitated in his or her environment and for this we work with families peers schools colleges prospective employers vocational training institutes etc now uh, mental health social workers are also working largely at the preventive level this can involve uh, activities for example building community knowledge and skills sensitization of the communities working with the communities to facilitate identification of mental health issues training programs for registered medical practitioners dais trained birth attendants uh, asha workers anganwadi workers awareness generation programs in the community for various individuals belonging to different population groups now mental health services are also provided at the promotive level now this primarily involves early childhood interventions sessions for example um, uh, support to children and adolescents at the promotive level we are also providing social support for elderly population or even mental health interventions at the workplace for example stress is increasing a lot at the workplace so having those kind of interventions and environment which is uh, important for the point of view of mental health and well being so there are the, these are some of the important areas for interventions by social workers in the field of mental health 
Now another very popular area for social work practice is medical and public health services. Now we know that mind and body are in congruence with each other. Therefore, anything happening, any medical conditioning happening or impacting the body is going to impact our emotions and our psychology. So, medical social workers recognize this and they work with individuals and their families, especially uh, in the medical settings. Now, services like um, uh, uh, providing um, uh, this uh, pro government based services, providing support, providing uh, resources for the families and the individuals where there is some kind of illness is very very important part of medical social workers. This in fact can also be analyzed from the point of view of various interventions at the micro, meso and macro levels. Now we can also make referrals if required for rehabilitation and long term care facilities. In OPD we often find medical social workers providing referrals, supportive counselling, coordinating after care, discharge planning, follow up services. Crisis intervention is done by medical social workers whenever there is a crisis in terms of some kind of an illness and we are working with doctors, nurses and we are an important part of interdisciplinary team that a hospital setting has. Now another area which is slightly uh, different though related to medical and medical social work is hospice and palliative services. In our country this is an emerging area of social work practice. Here we are working with clients who are having a chronic illness maybe cancer for example at the last stage or some kind of a chronic illness and these people the clients are nearing the end of their lives. So providing assistance to their families, working with the person, the client and attending to the emotional and medical needs of the clients, helping their families to accept the inevitable coordinating care and services. These are the broad roles of a social worker in the hospice and palliative services. Now uh, providing community based service is one of the extremely popular areas for social work professionals. Now we are working in projects that are uh, focusing on sustainable community development. We are working towards addressing the systematic issues that create social problems. Now we are working with individuals in the community, we are working with groups in the community, we are working with their leaders in the context of understanding their power dynamics, the social relationships that are existing between the structures and diverse community settings and we are following the principles of social justice and we are also indulging in social action. So we are working on various projects uh, in the community for example women based projects or uh, child focused projects or adolescent centric projects, elderly and maybe drug de addiction. So we are working in broad areas of uh, service delivery when we talk about the community based service ultimately trying to help the community to become self reliant and be more independent. Now uh, in the communities we are often seeing especially in the urban uh, communities that there are lots and lots of migrants. So therefore services for migrants and refugees is an important area of social work practice. Now we know that because of the globalization with which began in 1990s, there are lots of uh, migrants uh, in uh, across the world, especially in the urban areas. Now, migrants need help in adjusting to the life in in a new setting. So, uh, for issues related to their housing, their jobs, uh, education for their children, and other resources are very very important. Also, homelessness is increasing a lot, especially in the urban areas. So, working with the migrants and their refugees and providing services with the rights based approach is an important service area for social work profession. Another very very popular area for social work practice is social work in industrial settings. 
now when we talk about social work in industrial settings we are looking at helping the employees who are working in the industry and we are also looking at something called csr corporate social responsibility now when we work with the employees and their problems now we work with various types of human problems for example stress related to problems so family issues for example taking care of children elderly in the family problems related to education marriage health of the family members now when we work in the industrial setting we are also working to enable the employees develop their inner resources and helping them in their family and their uh, personal level difficulties now we are also in the industrial setting working with the employees with respect to the factors which are impacting their job performance and their level of job satisfaction we might be indulging in job counseling job related counseling or maybe uh, ha having uh, uh, to deal with employees who are uh, having issues related to substance abuse domestic violence single parenting and we work towards creating a very inclusive environment in the industry and we also work with persons with disability which is another very very important area of social work practice and again we work at the rehabilitative level at the promotive and preventive levels so social work work workers work at the micro meso as well as macro levels in the context of persons with disability now the last area is a criminal justice area for social work practice where we work with various institutions to provide rehabilitative services for people who are of uh, inmates former convicts or even family members or of offenders we are working with so this the settings popular settings can be prisons correctional homes and even on non governmental organizations to sum up in this topic in this presentation we have covered what are the service areas for social work profession what are the important significant areas for our practice and what is the role of social work professionals in all these areas uh, these are some of the references which you can take a look at and also some web links are also there which can help you read the latest material I hope that you have understood the topic of major services and areas of social work practice. I hope that you have enjoyed the session and happy learning to all of you thank you